Hi everyone, it's Mary here. Just uh, saying hello and uh, letting you know <laughs> that um, I was influenced by Nadine who was given this um, by Joe Boogie about uh, the Tai Chus. Um, I'm warning you guys, don't get it because it is very addictive. I opened up this bag yesterday evening and half of it is gone and I ate it all and um, I can tell you I have all the wrappers <laughs> she was right it is like crack not that I've tried crack but it's very addictive once you open it up it is hard to stop um, this is strawberry and I'll show you it's individually wrapped oh! and it's sort of like a starburst candy but it's softer and oh my god it is so good um i got it at costco in the states and you can't help but eat it <clears throat> i was gonna <clears throat> apart from that sorry i'm gonna put this down um, I was going to put up a video about some things that, um, kind of bothered me that I did and somebody else did, but unfortunately I decided not to post it because, um, I don't know, just in case somebody here watches that knows me, um, I was very hurt by uh, something that this woman did. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but it was done a couple of times. And I know that if I post it, um, even though it wasn't meant in any bad way, because it was something that I, I was basically talking about things that I learned, um, but I decided not to post it because, I don't know. It's funny, be um, being on YouTube, I've gotten to meet a lot of fantastic people. And I don't mean like meet in person, but I guess I've gotten to know them through their postings or their videos. <clears throat> and some of you guys I consider good friends. I mean, I probably hear from you or get posts from you more than some of my really, really close friends. So I guess what I was trying to do was maybe ask for advice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten my, what I was trying to say before. But basically I was hurt because a mother um, did something that I feel she was aware of and she was showing something that my daughter was excluded in. Not once, but a couple times. Every time I saw her, she kept on mentioning it. And, anyways, um, I, I really, I was judging her. I thought she was, like, bitchy. <laughs> and maybe she is. But, I decided not to post it because maybe I'm bitchy by posting it. By saying, you know, that she hurt me. I don't know. And I just, I think it might just be worse than it is. But I have to tell you, the other part of my posting was that I, too, was bitchy because um, my physio, my daughter's physiotherapist, um, you know, she was asking about someone. And, I, I, you know, I said, oh, well, this person, um, ever since she stopped doing something, she's gotten kind of started doing some bad things and I love my daughter's physio he is such a kind man uh, anytime we need to send my daughter in he moves his schedule to um, make sure that my he can see my daughter even though he is so high in demand that it takes two to three weeks to even book an initial appointment with him anyways I could tell by his reaction of how I was talking about this girl and he said well 
I can't see that girl doing that. She's, she's a really nice girl. And then he was saying stuff like, well, what were you like in high school? And he wasn't doing it in a mean way. He was just making conversation. And I was like, yeah, I guess I was wild. <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't wild, but I, um, hold on. I, um, you know, I went night clubbing when I was 16 and I had a boyfriend when, when that was 20. <laughs> and I never did anything bad. Like I never really drank or did drugs or anything like that, but I had a good time myself. So, you know, anyways, um, and then I started backtracking saying, oh, well, you know, maybe blah, 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 because I felt like he was thinking that what I was saying, it was inappropriate and it was mean and it was bitchy and judgmental. I was judgmental and I hate it when people judge me. And who knows, maybe those photos were a period in time where, um, you know, because of what's happened in her life and it, you know, affected her a lot, she's just releasing, relieving some stress. And maybe um, it was a photos of just a short period of that time and I didn't see the full picture. So I was shamed by what I had said and... It bothered me for days because I really respect this guy. And I kind of learned that maybe it's not, um, well, I've learned that I'm going to really try not to judge. I, I can sometimes be judgmental and I think everybody is in a way, like you see someone and you think, okay, that person's like me or I'm going to get along with them or that person's not. When I'm in interviewing employees, I usually have a good sense of what that person's like, but sometimes I can be wrong, right? And I have to learn to judge people, to not judge people, um, to see them as a blank slate, no matter what their appearance is, what um, how they talk, whatever, and get to know the person because most of the time people are just lovely and they're fascinating. Um, <clears throat> maybe even sometimes I've judged people because I'm scared that they're going to judge me first. So <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just kind of self-analyzing. There's a, a friend of mine who um, I don't get to see very often, often enough because her daughter has finished dancing. And I swear she is the nicest person you could ever meet. I love her. And you know how some of those people, you just they have just a, a, a good spirit. And, and she's not superficial. She, when you are in her little in her aura or around her, surround her, you just feel good about yourself. You know she loves you. You know she's concerned about you. I wish I could be like that. Sometimes um, I think I tend to, I'm, I'm, I'm a businesswoman, right? So I have to make instant judgments. I have to, sometimes I have to be tough. And I have to learn to just step back from that role. And when I'm with friends or somebody I've met, just be open and take them in and get to discover people because um, people are lovely. Um, I have to say, uh, watching YouTube, um, I'm sure, well, if you haven't watched her videos, you definitely should. Her name is Nadine TX. I love her because she is not afraid to be herself. And she's a very accomplished woman. I believe, I believe that she's a psychiatrist or a counselor or something of that sort. And her husband is a doctor. And, you know, people, she has every reason to be uppity 
but she's not. She is so down to earth and I love her and she's not afraid to show who she is and she gives me strength. To say, hey, it's okay, I mean, you know, I'm a good person no matter what, and if you don't like me, that's just too damn bad, people, as she would say. <laughs> I, I absolutely love her, and I encourage you to watch her. Um, she's so much fun, she makes me laugh. And she just has a good time. So... Thanks, Nadine, for all that. Yeah, so anyways, um, today I am going to competition again with my daughter. She's at school right now because, damn, that girl does not go to school that often lately. She's been sick. She's injured. She's whatever. But thank goodness she still keeps her grades up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be picking her up. What time is it? Oh, I'm going to pick her up in about half an hour. And then we are going home to eat lunch and then off to competition till late in the evening. And she's like, her back is so injured. And I took her to physio because her back was a little sore. And he put some of those, um, these needles in. I don't know what they are. Are they IMS, I think it is. I know it's not IBS, <laughs> but I think it's IMS needles, and basically what it does is it injures the needles and it um, makes white blood cells come to the muscles more quickly and it helps um, heal it much faster. But <clears throat> right now, <laughs> because number one, she's injured, number two, she got all those needles, her neck and her back are very very stiff so um I hope she's gonna be okay competing she said I said to her Lexi are you is not gonna are you gonna be able to dance she's like mom when you go on stage you don't feel pain anymore you just do what you have to do and I, I that's true because I remember I had sewn her a costume when she was seven eight years old maybe even nine I forgot a needle, like one of those little pins, um, in the dress, and she, okay, you're gonna cringe. She kneeled on the needle itself with her knee, and she did not cry. She's smiling and dancing, pretending she never felt anything, and there was a little bit of blood that was pulling on her knee, and she's just dancing <laughs> till the end. And then once she was off the stage, she's like, Mom, you forgot a needle. I mm. um but that's how dancers are. You can be in pain, but you still pretend that everything's so lovely and fairy-like. And then when you go off stage, then you can feel everything else. Anyways, um, yeah, so another fun day. I don't know if you can hear my laundry, but what I'm having to do right now, because I have that mountain of laundry, is I am... Washing, drying, washing, drying, and I'm just putting it in a pile, and then I'm going to fold it um, tonight when I get home, or tomorrow, or the next day, whenever I have a minute. Uh, yeah. Mm. All right. Um, just saying hello and um, wishing you guys a good day. All right. Well, take care. Bye-bye.